Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And if you remember, late last month, I spoke about it then, a beautiful new moon took place. Well, that is energy that we are carrying into this month. So the first days of this month, very much about luck, very much about change, especially for you where it comes to matters of career and so much more. Again, I spoke all about that in last month's video. But as we navigate towards the middle of this month, the energy will shift as energy has a tendency to do with a full moon. Now, this full moon, in contrast to last month's new moon, will happen at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky. This is a particularly private part of the sky. It has to do with home and your family of origin. It has to do with feeling at home within yourself as well. This is an interesting full moon. It will happen close in the sky to Neptune and Neptune will be standing across the sky with precision to Mars. Now these two planets do stand across from each other about once every two years, Neptune and Mars. And when they do, there tends to be a, a heightened sense of emotion. There tends to be some intensity as well, but also changeable feelings and changing reactions. You add the energy of the full moon while well, it becomes that much more emotional, that much more intense. And it is a time of change. Now, as much as Neptune can make things feel ephemeral and Mars will only add to that feeling, we've also got harmonious energy connecting to this full moon thanks to Pluto and Saturn. That will bring about an element of stability. So it looks like things are changing on the home front. For some, it's going to be as simple as wanting your environment to evolve in some way, wanting it to be different. But for others still, this is going to represent a time of an opportunity to buy or sell or move or to take on a new roommate. You do want to be a little bit mindful here because, as I said, the energy is so changeable. You may find something, you may really like it, and then there's this whole other factor to consider rather quickly. But for all that, there is that sense of you moving in a solid direction. Now, because Saturn and Pluto both are moving through financial parts of your sky, if it is that you have a home-based business or you work with homes, well, that is when you start tapping into this energy that much more and you are looking at making changes for your prosperity. So this can be a time when there's that much more work to do, but also that much more opportunity as well. For others of you, this might be a time when you just want to be with your family that much more, particularly your family of origin where that applies. And so whether it is that you decide to go for a visit, you decide to go home, uh, you decide to connect with your parents where that applies, or where it is that you are reconsidering what home is going to be for you and where home is going to be for you, well, all of this becomes possible under this full moon. As we navigate just four days after this full moon, well, right around the 18th is when Saturn will go direct. So right around the middle of the month, Saturn, its energy, Saturnian energy is especially strong in the sky. And this, of course, is an energy of some stability and of groundedness. Saturn moving through a financial part of the sky means that you will start to feel as if your finances are moving forward. You are able to understand things more practically and you are able to feel as if you are gaining momentum in the process. There is a sense now that whether it is financial planning or whether it is implementing strategies in place so that you can create more prosperity for yourself, well, those plans are finally moving forward. As we navigate towards the end of the month, we are going to have this month's new moon. And this new moon will be taking place in a very social part of your sky, a part of the sky having to do with your connections with other people, friendships, group endeavors, uh, professional group endeavors as well are covered here. Wherever it is that you gather with others, well, that is where the focus will be under this sky. Now, this can be especially a powerful time for you because this energy does represent 
um, a sense of vulnerability and a sense that maybe your friendships are changing. Maybe your alliances are changing as well. And that is because this particular new moon is standing across the sky from Chiron. Now, Chiron is one of the most widely used asteroids in modern Western astrology today. And it represents that sense of needing healing or becoming aware of where it is that perhaps there's something you need to address so that you can feel as if you are moving forward. New moons bring a new prospects. And so it could be that you're interacting with people who are in some way part of an increased vulnerability for you. So it could be that you are finding yourself feeling insecure and wondering what that's about and why are you allowing that? It could be that these new people are behaving in ways or doing things that are inviting you to look at yourself more deeply and where it is that there's more work to do within you. Well, all of this becomes possible. And ultimately what this energy says is trust your heart, trust yourself, know that you are worthy. And if there's work that you need to do on you, thank goodness it's showing up now so that you can address it and you can heal it and move forward. Now, what can also happen under this energy is that you attract people into your life who need healing in some way or who act as healers to you. And really, we're all here to heal each other at the end of the day. And that's ultimately what we are here to do, whether we do it directly or indirectly, whether we do it in our split second interactions with each other to the best of our ability, or whether we don't even intend to, anything can be used to move yourself towards greater love and greater wisdom and awareness of love and wisdom playing out in your life. And that ultimately is healing energy. Now, where it comes to matters of love, the first half of the month, it is Venus moving through the very top of your sky that has you feeling very ambitious in matters of heart and in matters of love. But as we navigate, it is going to be uh, the second half of the month where Venus is going to move into this friendship part of your sky. Now, it isn't just about that. Venus in this part of the sky can be really nice. It can be a very sociable energy, an energy where friendship and love mix easily, which is beautiful. However, over the course of the last two weeks of the month, uh, it is going to be Venus that connects with Saturn and with Pluto. Those energies are of tension. Now, thankfully, Venus will also connect with Jupiter in harmony. So it looks like what is transpiring in love is giving you a lot of hope, is giving you a lot to look forward to. However, at the same time, it is love now that may challenge your own sense of uh, connection to your self-esteem and your self-worth. Now, I want to add another layer to this as well. Don't mix friends with money, especially in the second half of the month. You really don't want to be doing that. Uh, it just looks like that could be a loss. And if you're okay with that, that's great. But if you're not okay with that, then that is something to take into consideration. However, and having said that, where it comes to matters of love as well, be mindful of where it is you feel like you are giving a lot more, being asked to give in a way that you're not sure feels comfortable to you. So if you are open to meeting someone new, well, it is in social situations, especially in the second half of the month, that love becomes that much more possible for you. But at the same time, it does look like within those spaces, there may be deeper lessons playing out for you as well. There might be some inner questions as well, whether it is that you want a friend to become more or whether it is a friend that wants to connect you with someone new. Now, just know that part of this journey is going to mean healing yourself more deeply. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, if you're just getting to know somebody, this can be a powerful time of insight, especially if you're spending time with this person in the company of others. You'll get to see another side of them and that in turn will help you to understand whether or not you want to move forward with this person. I wouldn't mix love and money under energy like this, but this can be a meaningful time nonetheless where you are gathering insights, wanting to do fun things together, considering the cost of all of this, right? And money, yeah, money may be part of the picture as well as you navigate your pathway forward. For those of you in an established bond, having Venus in this harmonious position can just be beautiful. However, do keep in mind, because of some of these celestial conversations I mentioned, it can feel as if love and friendship are not mixing. 
now. And so whether it is that you are needing to be present for your partner and need to change plans with your friends, uh, whether it is that friends may have a particular opinion about your partner that uh, isn't really uh, connecting to certain nuances that are connecting within you and your heart and your unique situation. Well, these are the types of things that can come up under this energy. Now, it's always up to you to decide what's right to do in light of your unique circumstance. But ultimately, why we are with people, what they add in our lives, that is a deeply personal thing. And if it is you that is asked to give your opinion to a friend about what is happening uh, for them in love, well, that's where you may want to be a little bit careful as well, because there might be nuances that you are overlooking at the same time. But for all of that, you and your partner should find yourselves being able to cultivate a healthy friendship at this time and that can bring forward things within yourself that you like very much what i love about this month for you well look there is a lot here but i am going to say i love the energy of success and possibility as you are starting this month luck is very much on your side and it can feel as if things are moving very quickly before the energy changes and asks you to go within but going within, being quiet, being comfortable with you, there is so much value in that as well. And as your emotions flow, as your perceptions change, know that in the process you are moving towards a greater sense of stability within yourself and a healthy sense of your self-worth in the process. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.